All right, so I'll tell fighthype.com here with Keith Hunter, undefeated Keith Hunter here at the Prince Bones Adams Ranch. Yes, sir. Keith, uh, I hear I hear some things around the gyms. I, is it true you might even be locking into a, a world title eliminator soon? Yes, sir. January 10th as of next year. Uh, 2020 vision. So that is true. Rumors are true. Well, um, what the, it's a 17 and 0 fighter from uh, Uzbekistan. I can't can't quite pronounce the name. Yeah. <laughs> But, but all these dudes that are coming from that part of the world are, are really tough. They can really fight. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about uh, this potential fight? Um, man, I, I fought one Uzbek. He's Uzbekistanian. Um, I fought one already, and they're very prideful, tough warriors. You know, um, they have their own. Um, they have their own skill sets, mm -hmm. and. Um, this one will be at a higher level, and I, you know, I, I, I need the experience, you know, more than anything. You know, I'm only 12 and 0, he's 17 and 0, so um, this will be a, a huge opportunity and a learning curve for me, really. So uh, I already know what I'm gonna do to this boy, so stay tuned. <laughs> what are you gonna do to him? <laughs> oh man, I, I'm I'm the bounty hunter. We on the hunt. I'm gonna collect this bounty, and uh, I'm gonna get him out of there for sure. Well, you, you touched on they have a different type of skill set coming from that 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 program and yes, everything. Mm -hmm. What's what's the big difference from a young guy like yourself who's been brought up in the American amateurs mm -hmm. and American gyms versus guys that are coming from over that part? Right. Um, there's different variations on how you, they throw their punches. You know, um, like you said, there's European style hooks and mm -hmm. then there's uh, Cuban hooks. And the, the variation of those, you know, those are their, their standards. There's a lot of times it's like rock, paper, scissors, you know, so it's kind of like, according to which variation, you know, uh, uh, ethnicity throws a lot of the times, you can kind of tweak your skill set and you'll have an answer to it. And that's kind of what I've learned off of um, fighting my first Uzbekistanian, you know, he's, he had a different type of way that they, that they all kind of throw, you know, their punches. And I learned a lot, I learned. So. Now you're you're a six you six feet tall at 140. Yeah, that's really really tall. Yeah. But besides that obvious you know height that you bring, what what do you feel, especially for people who haven't seen you yet, what do you yeah. feel you bring to the table that could win this eliminator and then even get to the title fight and become a champion? Um, I'm just I adjust like everybody says they adjust, but I adjust you know in that moment. And I, I'm very good rhythmically, you know, I have a lot of rhythm, so um, I know I have power, but a lot of people, like my opponent now, I mean, he has a lot of power, but if you don't have rhythm, a lot of times your power isn't as effective, so I think you'll be able to see a, a good display of art and a, a lot of artillery. Why is it not as good a, if you don't got the rhythm, are you saying because you can't step into the right place to land the shot correctly? Or? Correct. Uh -huh. you're, you're just, you're, you're basically just having a rocket launcher and you don't really have a scope on it. So mm -hmm. you, you have to at least be able to have a scope on it so you can hit the target, but also with authority, you know, and that, that is a delicate balance to be able to have power, but to be able to place it and utilize it, that, that's, that's not easy. And I think it takes rhythm to be able to, you know, utilize it like that. Now, uh, you know, just for, so people know out there, for being six feet tall, you dig to the body yes, really sir. well. You have to. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how, how do you think bringing that to the table, everything you bring to the table, when you were watching that, that great fight between Pro Grace and Taylor, yes. Yes. were you saying it all, were you licking your lips at all? Like, I can fight on that level. Man, I can get there. Man, or, of course. Um, I've been saying, you know, I've been... Viewing my weight class, which is 140, I came down from 47, but ever since I went down to 140, you know, those top level guys, you know, I definitely am one of those talent that deserve to be on those levels, mm -hmm. you know, on those platforms. So it's, I don't mind waiting my turn. So, you know, it's slowly coming and uh, it's a marathon, not a race. So that, that title eliminator, I'm hearing that it'll be Showtime. Would that be like a show box or would it be? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It, it'll be on show box, 10 rounds. Showbox always puts together these great cards they for young do. guys, man. Mm -hmm. I got it. Man, the new generation is what they're calling it, and it's a good opportunity, a good platform, and I'm just, I'm grateful. Yeah, shout out to Showbox. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. But, uh, and then I just wanted to get your thoughts on the big fight this weekend, Wilder and Ortiz's rematch. Man, that, that is close, because you have um, Wilder, whose power is undeniable, and then you have Ortiz, who has 
rhythm, but his age, you know, sometimes, you know. But I think that um, it's going to be more on Ortiz's side a little bit this time because uh, I think he's more of a chess player. But it's going to be so close only because Deontay Wilder, throughout the whole 12 rounds, has the equalizer. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean... Because you hear a lot of people, they think it's going to be easier right. for Wilder. Nah, but nah, don't, don't say that because he got hurt um, the first time and it wasn't an accident hurt. You know, uh, he knew, he placed that, you know, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he had the ability to do it. But again, but it, again, it's so close because Deontay's confidence and power, he also is adjusting himself. So um, if I had to, I think really Wilder is going to get it though. Right. <laughs> but in another tough fight, he, he doesn't make it look easier than no, last time? He I don't think he necessarily is. He may make it do a little bit of a better job, but I think that it's going to still be a, It's going to be tough. <laughs> Ortiz is going to be tough. For sure. it, interesting, because mm -hmm. like I said, a lot of people, for they sure. feel like, you know, with Ortiz getting even older and, you know, mm -hmm. Wilder still being at the top of his game. Right. But, mm -hmm. but I got me excited now. Right, we got, right, we got right. a competitive one. And, and then lastly, too, Keith, um, mm -hmm. Charlo and Tony Harrison are having a rematch um ooh, that's a good Tough one too. close first fight yeah it yeah. is um i think charlo might get that one back but harrison is a good mover and he has the, the pedigree you know he has the experience to actually do it twice you know i just think Char charlo because you know they're, they they're building him and he's gonna have the better of the business i think right. side of it aspect but uh i think charlo's gonna get it I, I just think he's gonna get it he's more hungry a little bit but no respect to harrison I love, harrison he's my man too best trash talker in the game maybe right now <laughs> he's on yeah, fire that man he is he he know, what he know what he's saying. He know what he's doing. Too. Did you feel like he won the first fight when you watched it? Um, man, it was close. I can see how people seen it both ways, but I, I, I think, man, truth. Yeah, I think he got that. He, he just barely got that though. The commentators were like, not, not recognizing anything he was doing in that. Right, fight. right, right. And uh, sometimes the commentators don't look from a, a boxing IQ. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, a boxer can. Uh, understand a little bit more or, or see it a, a little bit different way you know, so. yeah because it didn't seem like everyone in boxing thought it was a robbery you know right, when, right, when right, got, right, yeah. Right. yeah it wasn't definitely i don't think it was a robbery if you go back and look at it especially without audio you can see some of the small things that he was doing that really made the fight right you know it really did so but you got charlo by knockout or a decision this time uh, I don't think by knockout though, because Harrison still is crafty. He he knows he, he's fighting defensively. You yes, know? very so cautious. He, it's hard to beat a man like that, you know. So I, I don't got him by knockout, but but by decision. Well, Charlo's so uh, explosive, you know. It's like yeah, it's like yeah. Harrison didn't want to make any mistakes, you know. Right, and he carries his power the whole twelve rounds. Right. Too, so so it'd be a good one. Sir. Thank, yeah. Hey, thanks, Keith, man. Nah, Can't wait to see you. My man. Of course, man. Can't wait to see you get that opportunity. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Keith.